Hey, Loft City family. I'm going to be talking about the first chapter of this of our new book that we're going through, Gentle and Lowly. Um, I just want to read you the the scripture that kind of goes along with this first chapter, Matthew 11, 28 through 30. And it says, Come to me, all who labor and who are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Think about that. Jesus' reference to himself is one of a stature of our personality or, or um, reality of that he sees himself to be gentle and lowly. Scripture talks about him being all, all these other things. I mean, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the lion and the lamb. I mean, he's he's um, going to return as, you know, on a white steed. And, you know, we have these great, huge and wonderful pictures of him and all these things that we've come to know him as. But have we ever stopped to think about the fact that he sees himself as gentle and lowly? He sees himself as able to be reached and humble. In a world where we are consistently bombarded with trying to be the best at whatever we're doing, and trying to make sure that we're not uh, falling behind, or, and we're not the, the the last one. You know, there's the, the the movie joke that if you're if you're not first, you're last. Uh, in a world where literally everything in life works that way, have we ever stopped to consider that the one we serve sees himself as gentle and lowly? And maybe that's something we need to consider for ourselves. Maybe we need to consider putting ourselves in the place of our Savior, putting ourselves in the place and, and from the living from the context and the content of his heart, which is one of gentleness and lowliness, meekness, humility. Maybe we're constantly feeling like we're in need of this big giant savior to to save us from all these things and it's true he is that that it is true but maybe sometimes what we really need is to back down off of all the big giant things and and come to him in humility because he is humble and surrender to that surrender to that state of living that state of being that we are gentle and lowly because he is gentle and lowly. See, lie on that.